Okay, now, we're back again on worldly things. So, as I said before, I'm gonna have like a test battle between uh, Max Mangruda uh, being modified and these two Beyblades, which I think make good attack type tips once you got the right parts in. So for Maximum Garuda, what I did is that I mainly changed the weight disc from 8 flow to the forge disc force from Doom Sizer D2. And to me, force is a good weight disc, so hopefully <coughs> that will make it easy for this Beyblade to burst against these two. Um, just for you know, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one battles. So, the other Beyblades I have prepared is Scala XX3, and what I did is I gave him Jaggy from Doom Sizer D2, the Disc Frame Meteor from Cognite or Chrono C3, I keep forgetting these Beyblades names a lot and the forge disc is seven which is doubly one of the best disc frames out there but one thing for sure i'm looking forward to getting two maybe three of the new beyblades coming from wave four four and here is Valtrak v3 and its frame has these spring-loaded wings, so that way when they do like a um, impact on your opponent, it's supposed to like, flex the wings at them. And I got the weight disc six and the performance tip trans from Chrono LC3, I think. And I'm planning on keeping the performance tip in attack mode, which is making it completely flat. And the um, frame I'm using is Cone. And it doesn't do that well for attack, but it actually helps the Beyblade stay spinning a little bit. So hopefully, one of these Beyblade combinations I have right now would hopefully burst Gruda G. Three. And what I plan on using is the Hasbro Baby Burst Dual Threat String Launcher. Like, I've seen on videos on YouTube that some of these can be a little faulty. And this has some major reviews. But the truth is, I think I only had trouble once with it where it, the string got stuck but after tugging a little bit it went back to normal so besides that one jam up this ripcord cord launcher here it's actually done good and how you switch it from right spin to left spin is you flip this locking mechanism up and this oops this little black nub here you see how it's over the R? That means it's in right spin right now. So you, if you want to go to left spin, you just slide it like that. You lock it back and voila! you got left spin. And you want to switch back, you just do the same process. Slide back in. And all three of these Beyblades are right spin. So I'm just going to set this to right spin the whole time. So. I think the first matchup will be Maximum Garuda versus Excalia X3. So, here we go. Three, two, one, let her in. Oops. Okay, uh, outtake. Take hey, there. Three, two, one, go. Whoops! <laughs> Gotta try that again. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Come on, Excalius. Burst this thing. Come on.
Oh boy. Not close to bursting. Hmm. It hasn't really moved that much. In case you're all wondering what bursting does, like it slowly turns like this. You can tell by the weight disc edges here. Slowly turning it in. See? Burst apart because the performance tip here has like a spring loaded into it. So, that's maximum Garuda. One to nothing. Three to one, go. Oh. Okay, so now we're tied. One all. So, here we go again. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Excalius. Close to bursting. Okay, two to one, three to one, go. Shoot. Unbelievable. Oh, not even close. Mm. Not dusty in there. So it's all nice and clean. So now I'm going to try my Valtrek V3 combination here. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, now Valtrek V3 is being straight on attack. Oh. Doing some blows there, but uh oh, uh oh, ooh, not good. Seriously, I gave Maximum Guru here the worst weight disc disc in the game, and yet it ain't even close to bursting. So he's in the lead. One to none. Three to one. Go. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, and not even close to bursting. Okay, so Valtrek V3 has now made the score tied up. So, three, two, one, go. Next one, Garuda. Two to one. Three, two, one. Go. Oh. Three, one. Hmm, not really close to all the bursting. So, since Trans is able to chain be swiped out with the tips here. I'm gonna switch it to its more balanced slash stamina uh, tip. So let's see if that'll make a difference with um, Valtrek V3. Okay, so new match. Um, this is Garuda versus Valtrek tip mode number two. Three, two, one, let it rip. Definitely not moving like crazy, but it's definitely making a lot of hits. Oh. Again. 
nothing in on the movements for maximum Garuda. Three, two, one, go. So it's one nothing for Garuda. Oh. Uh-oh. It's starting to stall out a bit. Oh! And Valtrek lost. So it's 2 nothing. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, oops! Okay, that was an epic fail. Well, I'm actually not going to count that at all. So, I'm going to try this again. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Garuda is losing a little bit of stamina there. Oh, oh. Okay. V3 won that round, so it's two to one for Garuda. Again. Not even close to bursting at all. So, fine. This is the fourth round. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh. Three, two, one. Again, nothing. So, that's the combinations I could think of. And Valtrag D3 is still unbeatable to burst. And I can tell, well, definitely, that this is definitely not allowed to use in the Beyblade Burst tournaments that are going on right now. So, this has been Worldly Things with Killage Shark. Hope you all have a good day, and see you next time.